people, it's Rachel, and I'm going to do a video on how to make, like, a frizz tamer. Not, like, a puff tamer, not, like, a, you know, puff tamer, but, like, you know these little frizzies that everyone sort of gets just at the top of their head? Well, I bought the John Frieda collection thing, and it's, like, it looks kind of like a giant mascara, and it has a serum thingy that you put on your hair. It smooths these things out, which is amazing, and I kind of, like, ran out of it, and it's, like, 14 or $15 or so. I decided to make my own because I didn't have any time to go to, like, Walmart or Target or Bad Bath. I just don't have time. So like I couldn't really do that. So I decided to make my own with my products that I already have. Like hair products that I already have with me. So the first thing you're going to need is a mascara container. Kind of take any mascara that you kind of just are pretty much finished with. Look, look, I already have these two Jordana things. I used to use them for my eyebrows. Which by the way, don't mind my eyebrows. I'm about to get them done literally in like an hour and a half I just kind of wanted to film this video this is this is the product I ended up making it smells really good like it actually smells amazing like I would I would eat this if this was a food but yeah let me just show you how it works really really works um if you want more body just go ahead and like bring it up a bit but look there's still no frizzies even though i just like want like that okay so i'm gonna show you how to make that and if you don't want to see this type of video then go ahead and exit out obviously people like stick straight hair do not want to see this but people like me i have like thick sort of long type like it always gets these little frizzies and it bothers me so much so i just kind of made this i'm gonna go ahead Okay, so for the mascara, you're going to need just any mascara that you've already finished using. Like, instead of just throwing out your mascara, go ahead and recycle it to do this thing. But basically, it has to be a legitimate brush. Like, you see this type of thing? It's like a brush. It's not like... Okay, let me give you an example of something. It's not a brush. The One by One by Maybelline. See how it is in a brush? It's kind of like little plastic fiber type things. Like, see? So we're going to need an actual thing that's a legitimate brush because that's the only way it's going to really like work it's just a random one and basically you're going to need to clean it out so i'm going to go ahead and clean it out and i don't really have water here so i'm going to go to my kitchen first off you're just going to go ahead and turn on your sink and wash up things and just start shaking them then i'm going to take a straw and kind of cut it so i can get the water out more easily and yeah just continue just trying to get the water out of the thing you're trying to clean it out paper towel clean off the brush part and now just get a dry paper towel and clean out the regular parts and then just kind of clean up your little workspace there so first you're going to set out a towel or a paper towel anything of that sort and you're just going to take your products and then i'm going to take a hair gel this is la looks by curl whatever um and i'm just going to um pour or push them out a little bit onto the towel and this is a towel i do not really care about i got in a pack of many just squirt that out onto the towel now we're going to take a q-tip and put it um circle it around the gel and start slowly putting it into the bag please note you could just use any gel that you want or that you have i just have this one so i'm using it Try just directly placing the gel into the mascara bottle via the other bottle, but it won't work. Now just clean it off and fold it over. This is where you're just going to add your normal hair serum. I'm going to use the silk drops, and we're, the reason we're using this, you can use like silicone or any type of like hair oil type thing that you have. This is just going to make it so the gel and the water can be a little mixed. So just use that, plus it kind of just makes your hair shiny and nice. Now just take water and put it into the tube. I just take any hairspray you like. This part's optional, but you can use a leave-in conditioner. Now just start to shake it up. And yes, it can even fix stuff this bad. Smooth it down the areas that you have to smooth down. 
you have to make sure to use your hands and smooth it down with your fingers. It also fixes frizzy hairs. Just kind of take it and brush it down. One, follow me on Twitter. Two, ask me questions on Formspring. Give me requests of videos to do. I feel like all my videos are completely random. But like, I don't want to, okay, don't ask me for a room tour because that my room's not even done yet. Like my carpet, let, let me just show you this. They promised me this was Stain Master. Let me just tell you, I'm a very neat girl. Does that look like Stain Master to you? So I'm getting a new floor. As you can see, I'm getting shades. I'm getting a new desk. Beep. I'll see you later. And I really do love you all so much. Um, So comment, rate, subscribe, and suggest things for me to do, like always. If this video actually helped you, then like it. If it didn't help you, I'm sorry. Peace out, Girl Scout. Oh, and this is what I'm wearing. There's little lace leggings under here, don't worry. I don't I don't roll that way. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> hey, that's not weird.